Well, let's not talk about weather forecasts. Let's talk about financial forecasts. Two thirds of Americans are considering a financial resolution for the year ahead. In fact, Kelly Lannon is joining us to discuss what's ahead of us for this financial year. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Yes, thank you so much, and, and Happy New Year. I Hopefully we can still say that into January, Maggie, but yes. I'm told we can, so. There are no rules on Houston Happen, so we can still say it. <laughs> so I wanted to start this off as we're kicking off this new year. What did your study tell you about Americans' top financial concerns for this year ahead? So our study showed us that more than half of Americans, they, they are feeling overwhelmed by their personal finances. And 31% said they have a stressful relationship with their money. And those top financial concerns, we saw that inflation and unexpected expenses were the top two concerns. And these were followed by economic uncertainty and simply not having enough money saved away in your emergency fund. Yes, I think we all can relate to that. We've had to go into our staff, yes. some people have. So why do people make resolutions and what were the top resolutions made this year? So, you know, many people, they're thinking about their current situation, whether it's the state of their finances or their physical health. I mean, come on, how many of you out there have already joined a gym at the start of the year, right. new year? And ultimately deciding that a change is needed. We saw two and three are considering a financial resolution for the year ahead. And the top three resolutions, which actually have made pretty consistent year over year, are save more money, pay down debt, and spend less. So what advice do you have for people when it comes to sticking to these resolutions? We can make them, but then we can get rid of them easily. Yeah, so this is my favorite question, so I'm so glad you asked. You know, two quick and easy ways to stick to them. So number one, setting specific and realistic goals. Many people set themselves up for failure before they even get started by setting these unrealistic or overly ambitious resolutions. By setting specific resolutions, you know, breaking them down to smaller pieces, it's easier to reach them. And another recommendation is, you know, celebrate those smaller milestones, throw a little fun into it. And number two, having a plan in place to reach your goals. Any resolution without a plan is a recipe for failure or even worse, resolution burnout. A roadmap, a, a clear plan can really help combat against this burnout. And for those who have a clear plan that outlines the specific milestones that you're trying to reach, they're more likely to stay on track and they're more likely to achieve their goals. I love all of this. Where can we go for more information and also some resources? Because sometimes things happen that are unexpected in our life. So we have to kind of go off that plan. Yes, and so absolutely, and we are here to help. And you know, January, fun fact, it's also Financial Wellness Month. And Fidelity has assembled a number of resources, including insights and tools on popular topics, uh, preparing for the unexpected, uh, saving and spending basics, achieving the money milestones that matter most to you. So please check out fidelity.com slash financial wellness. We bring everything together to really help people on their journey to achieve financial well-being. I really, really appreciate you taking the time to speak with us and you're approachable because this can be very overwhelming and we're vulnerable when we're talking about our money. So we appreciate you. And again, Happy New Year. Stay warm out there. Happy New Year, Maggie. Thank you for having us. Bye. Bye.